We are actively working on Cyclone. Uh, we're currently in heads down doing 1.5 development work, and uh, we've got a lot of um, contributors, um, especially PhDs in, in machine learning that's helping us out for some ML support that we're introducing in 1.5. So ML transparency has, has definitely been gaining momentum over the last couple of years, uh, especially in Europe. Um, so ML transparency is coming to uh, 1.5 in Q2, uh, formulation or a manufacturing bill of material. This is the concept of how something was built, whether it's software, whether it's an IoT toaster or how my service was deployed. How was the, what is the formula for making that thing a thing, right? So that support is also coming in 1.5. Uh, low code application platforms or LPACs. Um, these, this is actually one of the number one growth area, areas in enterprise IT today especially for citizen development, um, neither SPDX or Cyclone today can actually represent low-code applications. Um, we're changing that, which is one of the reasons why we're adding snippet support. And again, our snippet support is going to be very, very different than what you have you might have seen in SPDX. We are, Like I said, we are supporting annotations. We're making um, our annotation support is a little bit different, though. It, it captures the same thing as, as SPDX. However, our annotations can be independently signed. So each one can have a digital signature applied to it. Uh, we're making enhancements to vulnerability disclosure reports, um, including the ability to hopefully get rid of PDFs when it comes to pen test results, because that's still a thing, unfortunately. And uh, we're also adding a bunch of other things, including commercial licenses. Uh, we're adding a ton of fields just for commercial license support. While open source may rule the world, um, and license support for that is great, there is just as much of a demand on commercial license support uh, for the SBOM use case. So we are absolutely adding like a, I don't know, I think it's like a dozen or so fields just to be able to support commercial licenses. Um, one six, we're also planning cryptographic bill of materials. This is some work that IBM has, uh, has done. They basically forked Cyclone DX uh, in a way that's backward compatible. And they made a cryptographic bill of material that describes all the different algorithms and all kinds of other things um, that is uh, useful for identifying risk in a post-quantum world. Um, so that might actually happen this year, but certainly by next year. We're also looking at attack surface mapping, so entry and exit points of the application, um, and a bunch of other things for, for 1.6. So there's a lot of really great stuff happening in Cyclone DX that uh, the community is, is actively working on.